everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Megan. Just in case you don't know me already, and I'm back with another exciting video. So this is actually part two of my makeup organisation. If you haven't seen part one, then I highly recommend you go see part one before watching this video because it'll all kind of make sense. But basically, I have like another Alex Nine draw, so I'm kind of splitting things up across both draws. But yeah, definitely go back and watch part one because everything will actually make sense. So if you do enjoy my video, make sure you hit the like button down below and stick around, hit subscribe and let's just organise some more drawers. So in today's video I want to tackle the next four drawers so I've already done my setting sprays, primers, foundations and concealers and powders. So next I want bronzers, highlighters, blusher and face palettes. I don't know whether to do bronzers, blushes, highlighters, face palettes. That might work too. Let's do bronzers, highlighters, blushes and face palettes in those drawers. So that's exactly what I'm going to organise in today's video. I also have one of these like little acrylic storage things. This is from Shein, the website. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, I only bought one just to test the size and whether I wanted to pick up a few more because I'm pretty sure it's pretty affordable so I'm going to give this a try as well. So I'm going to start off with bronzers. The bronzers are staying in this drawer, it's going to look pretty empty, I'm not going to lie because I don't have loads of bronzers. In not that drawer, this drawer is going to be where my face palettes are so I can move a few over just for now and organise my bronzers. So I also want to um, get rid of the glossy boxes because I don't see much point in keeping them in there for now but I will try this acrylic organiser. So. Definitely know that these two are just not going to fit in that organiser so I'll just put them in there for now. So that's what it looks like in the jar. It holds eight. So I'm going to see how I get on filling that and seeing whether things fit and things like that. Because you can actually fit three of these along if you wanted to. But I probably wouldn't because I have these big ones. And I think I'll have a few others that won't fit as well. But yeah, let's just start. Yeah, so this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer doesn't fit, so that's going to have to go to the side. Um, let's see if this one fits, just out of curiosity. Nope, didn't think it would. And I have this Benefit one. That also fits but I'm going to put that one in there instead and that's like literally all of my <laughs> bronzers. I don't have many bronzers at all but I much prefer my face palettes that's why I don't have many bronzers. So this dry is looking pretty empty I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah I can see everything. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but I'm just going to leave it for now. So now I want to move on to this drawer, which looks terrible, but that's why we're sorting it out. I'm just going to alter my camera so that you can see it a bit better. Okay, so I think this is like the best that I can do in terms of camera angles. So in this drawer is going to be highlighters and then in the drawer underneath will be face palettes. So... I'm not sure I like the face palettes in here at the minute, but 
we'll see how everything looks and go from there. I also have some in my overflow that I want to put in. So I have the new Steph Tom's an Ofra collab highlighter that I still want to use. So I'm going to use this in a full face of first impressions soon. So make sure you subscribe for that. I also have this Primark one. I did recently do a testing new Primark makeup video. So I'll leave that link down below just in case you've missed that. But this obviously it doesn't fit in there so i need to find that at home i'm just gonna put that straight in there and i also have these two primer blushes that i need at home so yeah i'm just gonna carry on putting highlighters in here So the highlighter drawer, let's continue. Just move this out of the way. I feel like I don't even know what's back there. Um, yeah, this can go at the back because I don't use those. And I might actually do put them. So I'm literally just going to do the exact same to my blusher drawer. Oh, find another highlighter. So that's all of my blushes done. Um, I'm going to see if I can do something with this face palette drawer because I'm not okay with it right now. It does not look good. One thing I'm not sure whether to do is to like put this like which is just an old blush palette in with my blushes. Um, I'm thinking that that might be like the best thing to do and then with the highlighter drawer if i got some more things like more little like acrylic storage things then i could have like two acrylic storages and some highlighter palettes in there i'm thinking that way then i will use the highlighter palettes a little bit more i didn't even try them this way i don't know what they'll look like this way Like that's another way that I could have them um, I don't know let me know down below what you think I should do should I get some more acrylic things and put some like highlighter palettes in there and maybe a few face palettes in there because there's like loads of empty space so yeah let me know I am really liking my drawers so far though Try and sort this one out.
Okay, so that's where I'm at with this organisation. Um, so I did my bronzers, um, blushes, highlighters and face palettes. I'm not sure that I love this draw at the minute, so I'm going to have a think about it and I might get some more acrylic storage and yeah this might change i'm not 100 percent happy with that so yeah that's it for this organizational video make sure you stick around hit subscribe and have the notification bell on just so you're notified of when i do my third organizational video and if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>